So speed apps on the order of two and a half times whatever the error comes from example of those, the PDF to HTML, was it? Uh, or HTML to PDF, web to uh, something like that. There's, there's a video in ESA 2009 about this. Um, but now, right, the, the work get, kept going because now that we started testing, we started finding more problems, so we fix, fix, fix. And when you fix, 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 and you have everything in your head, you can actually go about rewriting a scavenger in three months and make it faster and take out 15% of the source code, all in one go. So now you know. Because you have it in your head, you can actually do it. Uh, at one point I measured uh, the changes in, like, in the memory manager in general, and the difference was uh, that it had lost at least 5,000 lines of code, but I forget exactly where that was. In any case, what happened as, as a result of that was this, we got even faster. That's what happened. You see? It's not. And like Holger Plains organ uh, was just telling me that at about 7.7 seven or so is when the VM stopped crashing for them. And it actually like became nice. He was just telling me that like a couple hours ago. So that is rewarding, not just because it works, not just because it's nicer to work with, not just because it's faster, not just because it's smaller, but customers like it. And they, you go to conference and they tell you. That is very rewarding. But you only get that if you focus. If you can focus your attention to one area long enough so that it's worth it, so that the effort is worthwhile. That's like the, the major lesson here. <clears throat> to summarize, because the problem scope is so wide, because every branch is so deep, because there are so many sources of problems, and so much to deal with. A, a strategy that worked in this environment is to focus your attention long enough, put on the C clamp, and start making everything smaller along the way. That's, that was something I, I, um, um, I uh, demanded of myself, that over time I would pay in, code, in lines of code deleted improvements that I would make, because I made the, the memory manager bigger in some cases. To get like 40% performance improvement. Sure, fine, that, that pays. But in the long run, it needs to keep going down. And then, and then it's nice, you know, because then you, then you get to see all of this. If not, I doubt it. To make the story short, um, this is very rewarding and all that. And to me, it explains perfectly well why other people, much smarter than me, and much more accomplished than me, uh, why they said what they said. Specifically, this guy, one of my favorite guys, Gauss. His personal model was few but right for a reason. And I think it's because of this reason. Thank you. Well, 
down and say you need to push on it. And uh, it's very, very satisfying. To some extent, I think uh, different styles may work with, uh, better for different people. Um, What comes to mind right now is what, is what Pete taught me. You need to learn to throw away your uncle. Just because you wrote it doesn't give you the right to uh, insist that it gets committed. <laughs> and so, here's, here's what, I ended up, what, what I ended up feeling comfortable with. You spend a bunch of time, you think you understand the problem, and only when all the pieces, and you only when you can see a constellation, then you say, okay, now, I have it in my head, okay, now is the time for it. You write and you write once, you don't like it and you throw it away. You write and you throw it away. By about the two, second, third time, it's really small. And that is worth putting. The danger of committing too quickly is that you uh, remove the motivation to have me go later. Because now you know it works, it went so fast, so this is going to go, etc. But you're inferring the technical that later. Yes, but in my opinion, I don't know. A very smart person whose name I cannot recall at the moment once wrote a friend a letter and said, I'm sorry, I did not have time to write you a short letter, so I wrote you a long one instead. <laughs> there's, another, true. Yeah. there's another quote from the Duke of Wellington to the same effect. He wrote the government, I'm sorry my dispatches are so long, I had not time to make them shorter. And that has been quoted by many authors, so well beyond software, the experience is, you need time to make it short and concise. Yes, and it's, and it's only by spending that time that later on you win in the long run, yeah. because you don't have yeah. to deal with it again. Yeah, and I think the lovely thing is that you and Peter uh, were, were able to uh, give each other the time and the motivation. And, um, I hope you don't need to you know, if you have words <laughs> Thank you.